Alrighty, YouTube. It's been a while, a week or so. I think maybe even a little bit longer since I've uh, made a video, so let's get into a video. I recently checked how many subscribers I had, and it had reached over 11,000. That feels really good. Every time I reach a new, you know, each time I go from, for instance, 8,000 to 9,000, when I hit 9,000 subscribers or 10,000, I like to do a little update. Um, because it's a progression in the growth of my channel, and that feels really good. And even though I'm small potatoes here on YouTube, I mean, there's people with hundreds of thousands of subscribers, millions of subscribers, it still does feel good that over 11,000 people have felt motivated from my content to click the subscribe button and be given a feed of my content every time I upload something new. That does indeed feel really, really good. So I'd like to thank everyone who has been with me, uh, you know, on this journey of developing the uh, the Sacred Serpent uh, health channel. There's a handful of people who have been watching me since before I had even 100 subscribers and they're still with me today, so that's awesome as well. Um, but I have so many plans for this channel. There's so much to talk about. We live in such a crazy world. There's so many different... Uh, just insane things happening here in uh, on Terra in this dimension. Terra is another nor a name for for Earth essentially. But with this channel, I seek to try to inspire people to see some pretty common sense pieces of logic that have been kind of shuttered from the uh, awareness of the masses, in hopes that by me discussing these subjects, it may or hopefully, excuse me motivate you to take better care of your health and become more interested in your health. Many of the people who find my channel are already interested in, interested in health. They enjoy the subject of health, but for many of the people as well who find my channel, um, they don't know what direction to go in, and I hope my channel can serve a purpose in helping you regain some of your clarity in this matrix where health is under direct attack by the system overlords, by the Archons. And they've taken an enlightened species and reduced it into a slave species, that species, species, excuse me, being us. We were designed to be at a much higher state of health and consciousness and physiological uh, potential than we currently are. Now, in my early 20s, I had a handful of Kundalini experiences all the way up till about age 24 and I learned a lot from those experiences and I've derived information from the those experiences that I try to educate about um, here on this channel so most of what I've learned about health most of what I've learned about mysticism and consciousness and things of that nature and gnosis are direct byproducts of my experiences with the kundalini energy so not to make things too long you guys just a brief little update thank you for being here um, expect a lot of content I'm going to once I get this office space um, finished going I'm gonna be trying to do at least a one minute or a one one five minute video every day for the next two weeks uh, a lot of my rants are rather long-winded and I'm going to continue to do those long-winded rants but having short little three to five minute clips <clears throat> I think can be very beneficial with people's hectic schedules and uh, I really want to get within this next year a lot more viewers subscribers and I want my content to reach a broader scope of people and the only way you do that on YouTube is to create a lot of content so it's 7.40 in the morning, Sunday morning, and I need to get some sleep, but I just wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you like my content, please hit the like button. If you enjoy my content, if you believe other people can benefit from my content, please network my videos around social media platforms like Facebook and places like that. It would, I would greatly appreciate that, and again, if you believe in the message, why not share it? But... I just finished a seven-day fast about a week ago. 
I eliminated so much waste on that fast. I talked about that in a recent video, my last video actually. It's amazing how much waste our bodies hold on to in the form of impacted fecal matter, mucus, biofilm, um, parasites, you name it. Every time I go on a fast, I'm just blown away at how much stuff I kick out of my system. You've got to remember that the elementary tract, which is the tubing from your mouth to your anus, is multiple feet long, and there's all sorts of bends in it and nodules and places for food to get stuck in. And due to the fact that we live sedentary lifestyles, due to the fact that we eat a lot of foods that are unnatural, foods that the body does not know how to assimilate, break down, and utilize, we develop accumulations of residues from these unnatural foods. And for many of us, we have years worth of waste stuck in our system, and many people will go the duration of their life never even understanding that. And the accumulations of these poisons leads to rancidifications, putrefications, um, fermentations, you name it. This stuff backs up and goes into the bloodstream and now you're circulating waste through your bloodstream. It affects the lymphatic system. It affects every part of your system. Your thyroid, your thymus, your pineal, your pituitary, your skin, your blood, your bones, your cells, you name it. So the system overlords have essentially and deliberately, excuse me, the system overlords, the archons, the negative hand here in this dimension that is doing some of this strange genetic exper experiment on the human species has taken a entity, the human species, which has the potential to be enlightened via Kundalini and perform miracles and become literally a superhuman on steroids, <laughs> to say the least. They've taken us and they've turned us into these worker bee slave species. We don't know who we are, where we came from, what our purpose is here in this dimension. We've lost connection to the Kundalini energy, which is our birthright. We have spiritual amnesia. We've forgotten our potential. We don't experience our potential. Our subconscious minds have been programmed, altered, and changed so that our very thought processes actually work against us. Our beliefs work against us. So, the more I fast, the more I put the herbs into my system, the more I work on myself, the healthier I become, the more waste I kick out of my system, the more clarity I get in little increments. You see, it's taken years and years and years for us to accumulate the toxicity, the poisons, the residues, the mental programming, you name it. The coagulation of the cells. It's taken years for us to reach this state of non-optimal health. And in the same respect, it takes quite a while to get your clarity back, your health back. Fortunately, this system that we live in this spacesuit, I like to call it, the biology, the physiology, is very forgiving if you catch your bad ways in times and you in time and you change things if you start taking action towards better health today. Um, one of the beautiful things about this body is it's like a filter, a biological filter, a biological water fountain, and when you start putting the right fluids and foods in your system, those constituents have an affinity to get the digestive fire rekindled and you start kicking out poisons, sweating them out, you start cleaning the blood with the herbs, you start fasting, you do the coffee enemas, the enema protocols, the uh, coffee enemas, you name it. You can get a lot done even in one week with your health if you start taking care of your health today. And although it takes years and years and months and months for us to accumulate bad health, one of the beautiful things about the human body is that it seems to be that if you catch yourself in time and you start taking action day in and day out without fail, the body heals much quicker than it takes to accumulate bad health. So the, again, the body's very forgiving in that respect. For as much poisoning that we've done to it, from all the bad foods, the bad fluids, the bad air, the bad thoughts, once you start getting aligned with a more centered, balanced lifestyle based on naturalism and wholesome foods, you name it, the body reacts to that very quickly because you're now giving it some building blocks that it can be creative with and start healing the tissues with, you name it. 
and you start rapidly recovering. That's been my own personal experience. I'm not gonna tell you that that's the experience you're gonna have because everyone's different. Everyone's holding on to different things, not only physically, but mentally, emotionally. People are holding on to engrams, the list goes on and on and on. But from everyone I've talked to and communicated with, if they once they got on the right protocol, once they got away from the animal products and started really flooding their body with more water and, and the proper teas, things like Spring Dragon Longevity Tea by Ron Tea Garden from Dragon Herbs, once people started getting the right constituents and got their mind in track and became more of their own physician, their health started to increase massively. Now there is a detox period for most people. The list goes on and on and on. It's a very fascinating time because for as much pollution as there is, for as much mind control and deliberate poisoning of, health, of foods, you name it, for as bad as things are, there's so many opportunities and there's an infinite amount of possibilities at your fingertips waiting for us to engage in. So participation is probably the biggest and most important aspect of health. Without participation, you're just going to be stuck in spiritual quicksand and you're not going to move anywhere. My nose itches, excuse me. Health requires action day in and day out. But you cannot look at health from being a martyr, from the perspective of being a martyr. If you can't get yourself so excited about taking care of your health, then there's some serious issues going on within the mental field, the emotional field. You should be excited to get healthy. Who doesn't want to have range of motion? Who doesn't want to have mental clarity? Who doesn't want to have more potential? Who wants, who doesn't want to express more potential of their potential? If that makes sense. One of the most beautiful things that I've experienced about taking care of my health, getting on a vegan diet, flooding my body with clean fluids, restructured distilled water, crystalline energy, um, once I got myself back on track with the proper exercise and better thinking and super nutrition, one, one of the things I noticed is the acceleration of my body's reflexes and they continue to get faster and faster and faster. I'm going to have to stop this and we'll keep going. I'm going to have to uh, recharge the battery. So I left off by saying that my reflexes have increased massively and they continue to do so. My reflexes years ago had gotten to a point where they were so responsive and so quick that I thought that they couldn't keep evolving. But every week, almost every day in fact, there's some point in my day where I have to use my reflexes to catch something or to do something really quickly and it shocks me how quickly I can react to stimulus around me whether it's something falling or reaction time to something out in some external stimulus. It's like, holy crap, I never used to have this type of uh, reflex ability when I was eating all the junk, all the dairy, all the stuff that was cl clogging my cells, all the stuff that was clogging my lymphatic system, coagulating my blood and slug slowing down my digestion. Right diet, getting away from the animal products and getting on more of a wholesome, non-processed raw foods diet will really improve your spiritual life and your physical life and you don't just start doing this and wonder oh am i getting healthy no you actually feel it you can start feeling the metamorphosis taking place so we've been in kind of a chrysalis state for the majority of our life and we need to break out of that and metamorphosize and start regaining some of the lost abilities of the occult aspects of our occult physiology, if that makes sense. There are secrets about our glands that have been hidden from us by these archons. There are secrets about this body, and even though we're living in it, we're completely unaware of it. It's one of the greatest forms of mind control ever devised. You've taken a, a species that is potentially could, could or excuse me that could potentially reach the pinnacle of evolution through kundalini and they've taken us from this high bracket and they've separated us from the truth there's a document called the secret covenant i recommend everyone go on google and find it and read it the secret covenant i'll put a link in the description box below many people think that's a fake document regardless of whether it is or not it doesn't matter what is 
talked about and discussed in that document reigns true in here or here in 2018. There is a deliberate poisoning of the health or the, the food supply, even the health, health foods. They've done studies on supplements and found that a large majority of the supplements on the market don't even contain what it is they're, they're advertising to be selling. And if it does, it's just a small fraction filled with a bunch of fillers. This is about money. Everything in this matrix has become about money and money has replaced integrity and morals. And that's sad. So that's why I recommend getting yourself a garden, start growing your own food, start a sprout garden. Sprouting is incredibly cheap. I talk about sprouting and how to start a sprout garden for under $20 on my Patreon page over at www.patreon.com slash sacred serpent. Um, and if you are interested, head over to that .com and for you will, for $5 a month, you will get multiple hours of bonus material that you will not find here on the public YouTube channel. But starting a sprout garden, getting your hands in the soil, <clears throat> get yourself some organic heirloom seeds, grow tomatoes, grow eggplants, working with the element of nature in the form of growing things from seed and planting them, it creates this spiritual connection to the telluric kingdom of earth and the spiritual kingdom of nature. And it really kind of sinks your consciousness in and tethers things in from the, uh, the, the spiritual portions of nature and nature's hidden kingdoms. There are multiple things about nature that we have been shut off from. In the same respect that we have forgotten who we are and we don't remember our power, we're living in a dimension where we only understand small fractions of the potential of this dimension. This earth, this dimension is a biological shamanic living organism and it can be communicated with on a way that would blow people's mind if they had some of their kundalini actually stimulated and 99.999 percent of the population right now does not have any kundalini stimulation kundalini is responsible for enlightening the glands it enlightens the vertebra the vertebra the ganglia the blood the brain it turns everything on that's been shut off by this system so that you can see now the truth and once you see the truth and feel the truth and feel how good it feels to be inside a body that has enlightenment current enlightenment electric energy moving through it the kundalini will nourish your eyes and open up parts of your consciousness so that you can actually see into the different dimensional wavelengths around you that you cannot see right now because you can only see a small percentage of the color spectrum we've been terraformed i could go on and on and on and on forever about this it's a fascinating subject mind control in and in and of itself is a fascinating subject I've seen what it's like. I've, I know what the truth is like. Like I know what Kundalini Christ consciousness is like. I've experienced it. I've witnessed reality through eyes and a body that had that energy moving through it. I've seen things that many people have not seen. It's not a bragging right. For as beautiful as Kundalini is, it's also very terrifying and jaw-droppingly ungrounding because it shakes you out of your ignorance. It shakes you out of your ego. And the ego is what we use to navigate through this world this crazy world without being driven insane because if your ego wasn't there you would be overcome by the insanity if you actually didn't have your ego to filter all the craziness happening around you in your day-to-day -day life this earth this dimension Gaia Terra whatever you want to call it was designed with the potential for it to be heaven the Egyptians called it heaven on earth what it is now is a joke it's embarrassing to say the least, what this dimension has become. <laughs> and you almost have to laugh at it. It's so ridiculous. Otherwise, it'll drive you insane. But with my channel, I seek to just attempt to inspire people to adopt a vegan lifestyle and get away from the animal products, start taking more herbs, start drinking clean water, outfit your house with a shower filter, Take little steps in the right direction towards a healthier, happier lifestyle. And chances are, if you do it properly, if you do it long enough, if you don't give up on yourself, if you have faith in nature, if you have faith in yourself, first of all, you will most likely experience changes in your perception, an enhancement of your consciousness, an enhancement in the way you feel. You'll feel healthier. 
things will kind of align themselves and put the, the, the puzzle pieces that have been scattered around, metaphorically speaking, will start putting themselves together and you'll regain some of your clarity. I can't say that's the truth for you. I just know what's happened for me from personal experience. And I know what's happened to a countless array of people that are close to me, friends, family members, uh, people that I've worked with over the years with health. They've experienced it too. This is a slow, gradual evolution. Again, for as long as it's taken us to pollute ourselves, it's gonna take some time to heal ourselves. So this is definitely not some overnight fix in any way, shape, or form. The mills of nature grind slowly. But we'll go a few more minutes and we'll wrap it up. I've got a black Lachamba handmade uh, water pitcher. I love Lachamba cookware and this water pitcher is awesome. It was handmade in Colombia. It looks a little abstract in the sense that it hasn't been machined with a machine to make it a perfect circle. I like that look. This is natural, healthy uh, cookware. You could actually take this if you primed it properly and put it right on your stove and start cooking with it. La Chamba cookware is really, really neat. I talk more about that on the Patreon page. I actually added a new tier to my Patreon page. There's a $5 a month tier and there's a $15 a month tier. And with the $15 a month tier reward tier, you get all the content that you would get with the $5 subscription. But with the $15 tier, you also get a private video message from me about whatever you want to hear me talk about as long as it is re uh, relatable to health. And there's some certain guidelines. So if you're interested in checking that out, again, go over to www.patreon.com slash sacred serpent and check out uh, the web that little web page that I have together. It essentially is just a donation to my channel. People get on me and have bitched and complained, oh, why are you doing this? You're begging for money. I'm not begging for anything. I have hours and hours and hours of free content here on the YouTube channel, <clears throat> and I'm, continue, I'm going to continue to do that. But I've erected the Patreon page as a way to funnel in some extra cash from uh, my video content because this stuff does take hard work and time and all the money on the Patreon page is just essentially a donation to my cause and my mission. So people have no problem buying a $150 pair of shoes or going out and spending $90 on a steak dinner. But when it comes to having an external service for my YouTube channel, people freak out. It's amazing what time people it's amazing what people have time to bitch about. People would rather bitch and complain than think rationally and but, uh, you know, common sense isn't so common. I'm going to wrap this one up, you guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that my videos and my messages... <laughs> Excuse me. Again, it's almost 8 a.m. Let's try that one more time. On behalf of this channel, I hope that my messages, my videos, my content, my passion can help inspire you to rekindle a flame in your heart for health today. And... I hope that my videos can help inspire you to see the common sense rationale in doing things like filtering your shower water. Showers, if you're not filtering your water, the tap water that you're bathing in is filled full of hydrofluorosilicic acid, hydrofluorosilicic acid, hexafluorosilicic acid, pipe residues, scaling lime, inorganic compounds, chloramines, chlorine, cobalt, algicides, radioactive constituents, they found plutonium in water, parasites, disinfectant byproducts, runoff, then goes on and on and on and on. Doing one thing like that, getting a water filter uh, for your drinking water and a water filter for your shower, that's a huge step in the right direction. It's all about getting momentum by doing one thing a day for your health. Whether that be drinking more water, start a water regimen, or you know, get, drink a cup of African red rooibos tea every day. Or get do what I like to do, get the kingpin of all teas and invest in a few boxes of Spring Dragon Longevity Tea from Ron Tea Garden over at Dragon Herbs and start drinking at least one cup of that a day. One cup of that a day. The Cisandra Berry in that is great for the lungs. It's an overall m miraculous health tonic. That's one product that I've always believed in. Not only does it uh, 
taste amazing once you get used to the flavor, but it makes you feel amazing. I like products that stand up to their claims, and that's one product that does. Dragon Herbs is a really, really awesome company. And I talk about Dragon Herbs and uh, that particular tea formula in more detail over on the Patreon page. But I'm going to wrap this one up, you guys. I love you all. This is the 11,000 subscriber update. I'll do another one at 12,000, 13,000. I'm going to really do my best to try to get this within the next year up to potentially over 20,000 subscribers. So expect a lot more content. This week, I'm going to start recording uh, five-minute clips every night and trying to upload those every day or every night. So expect a lot more little short clips as well as random rants, long-winded one-hour rants, two-hour rants. I'm going to break apart the Secret Covenant again, the document I talked about earlier, um, which is basically just a manifesto by a supposed secret society on how to control humans through food medications and subconscious sorcery you can find that document for free online if you go into my video archives and you type in search uh, i don't know if i deleted that video recently it should still be in my archives if you go in my art video archives and type in secret covenant or just covenant or the word draconian there should be a 40 minute video of me breaking apart that document i think i may have deleted it uh, a couple months ago i actually went through and deleted some of the old content to kind of give the channel a facelift. I wanted to get rid of a lot of the videos was where I was cussing extensively. So I am going to uh, do an update video on that document. So in next, until next time, <laughs> peace be with you all. Blessings of peace and health and happiness and evolution.